Hi, my name is Tisa Escobar, and I'm a Newman community member and also the RCA director here. I've been at Newman for the past six or seven years, but I also was here as a college student. I chose today because um, Jesus says in scripture, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And for me, that is my one of my favorite um, scripture passages. Um, there was a time period where I just felt that nothing I could do was right. I felt like despite all of my education and everything that I had going for me, I couldn't get the jobs I wanted. I couldn't, I, I had this plan for myself and I wanted it to go a certain way and it wasn't going that way. And my mom in her infinite wisdom said, you need to pray about it. And I kind of told her, thanks mom, and didn't do that. Um, but some time had passed before I realized I really do need to pray and think about it. And when I did, and um, I went to mass one day and they read the reading that you're gonna read today. And for whatever reason, it clicked in my head. And I thought, oh, there's nothing that I can do, nothing that I can fail so much in that Jesus wouldn't understand. And in that moment, like, I don't know, this heavy burden was lifted from me. And I just realized I needed to put whatever God willed into his hands and not have my own set plans. And, you know, cause I wanted everything to be, to fit perfectly on a square. And as you know, God likes to have his own plan. And so once I let go of being in control, my life took a turn for the better. And I can't even begin to share the blessings that have been giving me when I let go and let God. And in addition to that favorite scripture, when I think of that one, I also think of the one where Jesus, where the Lord says, you know, I have plans to prosper you, plans not to harm you, plans to give you hope and plans to give you a future. So if you ever feel that you have failed or been rejected in any way, look to Jesus. Who else but Jesus can truly understand what rejection feels like and still love us despite of it. You know, he was willing to go to the cross for us. And so there's nothing we can't do that Jesus won't forgive us, forgive us for and love us for.